Jonah at the International School of Columbus had a great question. He wanted to know how to connect his Pages documents on his iPad to his Google Docs account. I'm going to demo this on my poor, ancient iPhone 3GS, but the method is pretty much the same no matter which iOS device you're using. First, tap the Share button. For you lucky folks using the iPad, it's going to be at the bottom of the screen. It looks like a rectangle with an arrow coming out of it. For those of us using iPhones and iPod Touches, tap the wrench icon. There's that arrow icon, so let's tap that. Down here, you'll see Copy to Web Dave. Now, we need to connect to Google's Dave by typing in the address they've set up. Type in http colon slash slash dav dash pocket dot appspot dot com slash docs. Don't forget you can pause this movie if you need to stop it and type it in. I know that doesn't look like a Google address, but it is. If you point your browser to appspot.com, you'll see the familiar Google stuff. In the username and password fields, type in your username and password for your Google account. Then tap the sign in button or the go button on the keypad. After it logs you in, it'll give you three options to upload as a pages document, a PDF, or a Word document. If you want to be able to edit your document in the Google Docs interface, choose Word. If you want to use Google Docs just to store your document and you don't need to edit it in the Google Docs interface, you can use Pages or PDF to just upload the file and store it there. Once you choose your format, you'll see a list of all the documents sitting in the top level of your Google Docs document list. Tap the Copy button. You'll see a status bar showing the file uploading. Once that's done, I'll be returned to the Pages app. And if I jump over to my computer and open up Google Docs, I'll see it sitting there waiting for me.